Back to a Throwdown Thursday with Brian Kill, former NFL and BYU linebacker. Brian, I want to talk about some specific concerns on the BYU side in terms of personnel. Mitch Matthews is the leading receiver mm-hmm. on this BYU team. He has not practiced this fall camp. Mm-hmm. At what point in fall camp do you start to get worried that your leading receiver has not played? That's tough, man. I I, I didn't play offense, just in case you didn't know that. Wait, but, what? <laughs> so it's hard for me to, to speak on it because it's different. I do know it's more important for a receiver to be out there building chemistry than, say, a corner or a linebacker. Um, so it's kind of hard for me to speak on it. I, I, I can speak from experience. Um, I was fortunate. I didn't have any injuries. I never missed practice. So, so I never, never had to go through this. But I could kind of imagine what it would have been like. And I don't think I would have missed much, personally, especially senior coming you know, with all the experience. I, I think I could project myself cluing into it mentally enough to, to get mental reps. But that's that's as a linebacker. I don't have to have timing with anybody else. I don't have to. It's just kind. Of, it's just really different. So so being him, I think it is a little bit concerning. I don't know how concerning it is, but um, hopefully we get him out there quick. Yeah, it's it's practice t- uh, eleven, I believe, this morning, maybe ten of twenty nine prior to Nebraska. So is there is there a point like it, I don't know if he doesn't play in the scrimmage Saturday, should we start to be concerned about that? Yeah. At what point do you go? Okay, wait a minute. This is an issue. Maybe in in that game week, I would say. Okay, um, so he could get, so he can miss all of next week. He's a senior. He's, he's a senior. He's I mean, it's not like chemistry he's, with Taysom. Yeah. He has a history. There. If there's any receiver on our squad that if we had to have one missing practice, we okay. You have to have one. Pick one. It would be him. That's I, the one you'd pick. And that's not the part I'd be concerned about. I'd be concerned about. Are you 100? Yeah, that's, that that's the it question. Does take yeah. a little bit of time. Yeah, it does. It does. BYU as a team had a day off yesterday. They went to see Fantastic Four. Not sure how much of a reward that was, given that it bombed in who, the box office. Who chose that? I have no idea. <laughs> they, sh- they they should be fine. That's been the biggest mistake of BYU's fall camp thus far. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I feel bad for them. Okay, they went to see a movie. They didn't have to practice. Then they floated the Provo River. When you get that day off as a player, when the coach reveals that to you and you go through that, what does that do for you mentally? We, uh, it's, it's everybody's different. Um, so, so we, that what we, the movie we watched, we went not to the theater, just to the film room, and we watched 300, the edited version, mind you, <laughs> was edited. Okay. Um, 300. Only at BYU is edited. And uh, it was Probably. cool. It was a great movie. I love that movie. Um, I love the the imagery. I love just the mentality of that movie, and, and it was applicable too because there a big part of that is the shields. And we had done this the whole thing Phalanx, with shields. Everybody on the team made we made our own shield, and we wrote down different things on it what mattered to us and like our family and what we stand for, and and we hung it in the team. It was cool. And we also floated the river one time. It was fun. It was great. Back to the thing. Every, everybody else was just ecstatic. Just cheers, yelling, celebrations. I was mad. I was legitimately, <laughs> I was legitimately mad. Um, and, I, and this is where I'm a little bit different. Um, and I'm not just saying this. Like this is this is really how I am. I love practice. I, I love playing football. I, I miss practice so much. I can't even tell you. My, I, I went through this the most weird, miserable, man. the miserable training camp in St. Louis one year, where our coach literally tried to kill us. Um, David Nixon was with me. He was my roommate in training camp. Oh, that's and, awesome. and he got cut during training camp. He ended up going down to Miami. But he got cut during training camp. He was excited. when the, <laughs> They call him the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper comes and gets the guys and they cut him. The Grim Reaper came and got Nixon. And he was excited. He put a smile on his face and said, see you later, guys. <laughs> that's how bad this training camp was. The other day, my wife said to me, she said, hey, would you go through another St. Louis training camp if you could play again? I said, in a heartbeat, and I would skip on my way to it. I miss football that bad. Hmm. Wow. I miss it. Do, do you sense that there's anyone like you on this team? I'm like sure. That? I mean, there's, there's guys like that, and there's guys that hate practice. They don't want to be out there. They don't put in the effort, and, you know, everybody's different. Me, I just – I love the game of football. I love competing, and, and there's certain – you want to know what my favorite thing to do in practice is one on ones. It's my favorite thing, whether that's pass protection or or receivers running routes. You know, pass blocking or receiver it's my favorite thing to do because every single play, you either win or you lose. And it's just you versus the other guy. That's my favorite thing to do. I miss it, man. 
I'm hoping you said some of these things to the team when you uh, spoke to them on the, before the scrimmage on Saturday. What what did you say to the BYU football I, team? I did. I just smiled and and tried to look pretty. I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. So they had a bunch of us. They had a bunch of us there. I didn't say anything. They had Daniel Coates say something, and and he 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 gave him a great message, and it was kind of cool because Daniel Coates is kind of unique. Very well, it's not kind of very unique story. Not member of the church, came to BYU, was married before he came to BYU. Got married right out of high school. This is kind of unique. I went to Spencer high school. Went to high school with him. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah, so yeah. you know, yeah, he's married right out of high school. He's married his whole time at BYU. Had three kids here, and he talked to these guys. He talked about that. He talked about the brother brotherhood, the camaraderie, and then the big his his biggest thing was, you put in the work. And it pays off in the fall. That was kind of his biggest message that he said to him. If you're if you're willing to put in the work, then then it pays off. And it was a good message and from a great teammate. When you look at the different players in fall camp, that some are cross training different positions. For example, mm-hmm. Micah Hanneman at safety, Kainakua at corner a little bit. How hard is it for guys in fall camp to know their position, let alone cross train at another position? It, <laughs> I don't it, everybody's d- different like, again and so some guys the game just comes naturally and they just understand they know what everybody's doing some guys struggle and it's like you got to get them lined up and okay you just go chase the quarterback you know it's you have guys on different different levels um so it's different for everybody um but it is tough I, I will tell you um I didn't do a lot of that when I was at BYU but to last as a linebacker in the NFL you have to know multiple linebacker positions. And, and it's complicated because you might get clued in mentally to what you do at a certain position, and everything has to just click. You don't have time when the plays are going and the bullets are flying. You don't have time to think. It has to be reaction. And so, so I, the different times when I've played inside, Sam, Will, and i got to know all of those. And some, one play you're at Sam and the next play you're at Will and the next play you're at Middle – it's tough because you, you me- it's tough mentally. You just kind of have to get clicked in. But that's where you put the time in at home in your playbook. You put the time in in the film study room so that when it's live bullets, it's not thinking, it's reaction. But it is tough. I will say that. It's tough to do. Brian Kale bringing it on a throw down Thursday. What are we going to do on Fast Friday now? <laughs> Not be as fast, I guess. That's true. Golf. We will. <laughs> you came ready to full go. Circle, yeah. Full circle. Full <laughs> circle. Hey, just don't let anybody rush you when you're on the golf course, hey, okay? I take my time Brian on those Kiel, four foot you, putts. You don't. You don't rush Brian Keel on the tee Don't box. do it. Don't do it. I just quote Happy Gilmore to Spencer, and it just look away. Him up. What I'm about to tee off. Look away. <laughs> look away. Don't don't watch me. Great to have you, Brian. Thanks for the time. Thanks, guys.